Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and on May 4th, 2022, Synology Surveillance Station version 9 has been fully out of beta and released. Now, if you're an early adopter and maybe watching this video on May 10th, the day I'm releasing it, um, you may notice that it's not available for you. You can download it and manually load it. But before we dive into all these cool new features like the updated monitoring center, the privacy masking options, the import options that they've added on there, let's talk about why you use Synology at all. And I want to talk about, well, why we like it. That's, I think, an important factor before you talk about why a product's exciting or why I like the new features is why should you use it. And that's because we have a lot of experience with it not giving us problems. And we've deployed a lot of these to a lot of clients. We've consulted with a lot of people on helping them architect and design a surveillance station package. Now, they have an NVR selector that makes it really easy to determine just how much of an NVR you need and how much recording time you may need. But there's a little more to the planning and making sure that you get connectivity to all the cameras. And we've, after working with it for several years, have just been really happy with it as a product. People are happy with it. We're not having problems with it, which is a really important factor because I don't want to just sell something. I want to sell something that works and doesn't require a lot of support. And Synology has been really good about that. They also have a very broad range of camera support. So you may have cameras existing into a client that you want to put this into or just want to choose all the right brand camera for the right area. And uh, that may not be all the same brand. This is where you can have a good mixed environment with Synology. And finally, as everyone is so worried about, license fees. Yes, there's a license fee to get the Synology cameras going, but they're not recurring fees. It does not have subscription fees attached to it, which is one of those things that's kind of become common in the market where uh, these companies charge quite a bit for their subscription fees. And it can get kind of expensive with some of the higher end and VR platforms and Synology's come in and said, well, we're just going to do a one-time license fee, a perpetual license that, by the way, is transferable if you get a new Synology. So that's, you know, definitely a pretty cool feature they have. Now, before we dive into the details of this video, let's first. Are you an individual or company looking for support on a network engineering, storage, or virtualization project? Is your company or internal IT team looking for someone to proactively monitor your system security or offer strategic guidance to keep your IT systems operating smoothly? Not only would we love to help consult on your project, we also offer fully managed or co-managed IT service plans for businesses in need of IT administration or IT teams in need of additional support. With our expert install team, we can also assist you with all of your structured cabling and Wi-Fi planning projects. If any of this piques your interest, fill out our Hire Us form at lawrencesystems.com so we can start crafting a solution that works for you. If you're not interested in hiring us, but you're looking for other ways you want to support this channel, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel. And now back to our content. To keep this video shorter, I'm going to focus on only the highlights of the changes, but there are obviously a lot more changes that I won't have time to cover, but they're all here in the release notes that are linked down below. I do want to make a special note about the deep video analytics. This is only supported by their DVA NVRs, and I'm using a standard NVR, which means any of the detections for motion or humans or vehicle detection is done via the camera and not done via the NVR. I have a video that I'll link to below of how to set this up, and I use the beta version of Synology Surveillance Station to do so, so it looks exactly the same if you're using 9. But yes, it actually works in version 8 as well, and it's pretty much the same thing. Now, when you get to the interface itself, it looks generally the same as it did before, but we have a few different things. First, we have a dark theme. That makes me happy as I like that. I don't remember if I could change the other one to dark theme. I know that wasn't the default though, but the monitor center right away is where the big changes are. So let's go ahead and make this full screen. And now we have one view that allows us to live view or jump back and forth between events. So we can actually pick any particular camera and jump between events or double click on the camera to take a closer look at the live view. So we'll check the driveway camera here and we'll go down in the bottom corner and we're going to jump to previous events. And we'll start with this event right here where I'm returning with my son in the truck and we're gonna turn on synchronization. This is nice because by turning on synchronization, I triggered the motion event by pulling my truck into the driveway, made my son get out of the car, and in a moment, it's going to trigger the porch camera. So it makes it really easy to hit sync, choose an event, go back and watch in a second, you'll see us coming up and approaching the porch. It records and rolls back a few seconds to make sure they capture the entire motion of me and my son wandering into the house. 
So they've made this like one place to search and for finding things relatively easy to do. Now, if we close this, we can still go over to the recordings and they're still there. We can still do different searches for different time frames. The search functions still the same right here. Where's the source you want to find? What's the event type? And for example, we can say advanced event or face recognition type. So we'll say advanced event. Hit search. And right there, we have an advanced motion event, advanced motion event, filtering right to when it's seen, for example, the people walking by. So you can still filter for those. They still have not fixed a weird problem that is I covered in my video of how to set this up with the advanced motion detection with the camera. It refers to everything as advanced motion detection event. But when you're using the app, it tells you if a vehicle was detected in the driveway or if a person was detected. So it tells you what the camera saw, but inside the Synology app itself via the web interface, it does not. Only on the phone apps does it actually give you a description and then the email alerts that it sends. Now let's go ahead and close this. The camera editing and batch editing options. This is really cool for people who want to import cameras because yes, that is XLS support. You can get an XLS file as in Excel put all of your camera parameters in there and upload cameras in bulk. This is a big change. And if you're setting up 50 cameras at a time, this is a really handy feature when you want to get them all configured in a really time-saving way. Another alternative to that is the configuration file option. So you can actually export configuration file. If you set some of the cameras up in one Synology, export that file and bring it back in. So this is really handy if you're doing a lot of what we do. Sometimes we'll test something on one Synology or you want to migrate something to another, easily grabbing and exporting those and pushing them over to another. They've also added a lot of enhancements in the batch editing of cameras. So if we choose a few cameras at a time, we can copy settings, paste those settings over to other cameras. For example, if we say copy settings from this camera, camera cell side of the house. What do you want to copy and easily push that over? This feature was in the older version. They've just enhanced it a lot in version nine to give you a little bit more granular control over it. Now let's talk about the Synology C2 surveillance backup. We're going to go here. We're going to open up C2 surveillance. And I just set this up before this video, just to demo how quick this works. You tie it together with the couple of your cameras or as many as you want. They have the manage subscription button right here so you can choose your subscription. I'm not gonna put all the pricing in here. It's publicly available on their site and it may change it sometime in the future. Therefore, didn't wanna add it to the video. From there, you go to view recordings. And what this is doing is anytime it sees an event and I walked outside and waved high to the cameras to create a motion event. And then we can go back and watch where we can click on this event detected. We can then play or download it. And it should have me walking out here, turning and waving to the camera. So now this event is on the Synology and it is also on the C2 backup. So if there were someone to come up the driveway to come into the house to try to remove my MVR, it would be uploading all the way in until it wasn't connected anymore. So clever that they have this. I think this is a nice feature. You can also tie multiple Synologies from multiple sites. And maybe there's one particular camera, like an entrance camera, and you want all those videos backed up for where all the entrances were happening. So you can have one cloud dashboard that collects all that info in case, you know, the person entering is then leaving with the NVR, which you wouldn't be able to record that. Now I am planning on doing a much more in-depth video for showing people how to get started with Surveillance Station. I've been waiting for version nine to be fully released before I made that video. So that'll be made sometime in the future and could be linked down below if it exists depending on what time in the future you're watching this. I will be leaving a link as well to the advanced motion detection video, because unless you have one of their special deep video analytics, DVA series, MVRs, the detection is all done on the cameras, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because there's a lot of cameras that have good detection built into them. And that video is linked down below of how to set that up. Leave your questions, comments, concerns down below, or have a more in-depth discussion over in our forums. Thanks. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a short project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top.
To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.